to say, and they want to talk too much about uh, his contract talks. We know that the Seahawks and Wilson have been in negotiations to get him a deal that puts him in line, again, with the market value of the quarterback contracts that are being signed today by some of the league's younger quarterbacks. So Russell Wilson should expect, in terms of the annual average, to be about $20 million a year. Now, Cam Newton, based on a conversation I had with his agent, he's getting $67.6 million of that guaranteed. Will Seattle be able to kind of structure his contract track to give him those types of guarantees and how? Because keep in mind, Seattle has a lot of players making money right now. Richard Sherman, Cam Chancellor, Earl Thomas. Uh, you've got Marshawn Lynch, who's getting paid. So Carolina doesn't have that many dollars going out to that many players the way Seattle does. So the Seahawks are going to have to manage their salary cap in a way, but they also have to understand that Russell Wilson's their guy. But that's the other point of this. If you let Cam Newton go, you let Russell Wilson go, where do you go next? You don't want to be in that perpetual uh, roller coaster of getting quarterbacks every few years because then you end up with records like the Cleveland Browns or Tampa Bay Buccaneers and they can't find that franchise guy. So NFL teams know now that if we get our guy, we have to pay him. We've got to develop him. We've got to put pieces around him if we want to win football games. So someone like Russell Wilson, he's going to get probably an average of $20 million a year. It's up to the team to kind of structure things. But that's not Russell Wilson's problem. Because if they don't want to pay him uh, those, those type of long-term contracts, they can franchise him. They're going to end up paying him kind of the same types of dollars if they use the franchise tag for multiple years, it affects the salary cap a certain way a little bit differently. So it's better to kind of get a long-term deal done now than to wait another year or two when those dollars and cents become more costly.